Nutrition in Plants Like animals, plants also need food for growth and energy. Green plants synthesize their food during the process of photosynthesis. They take in carbon dioxide and water and convert them into carbohydrates, that is glucose, in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight. The reaction can be represented as 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight gives C6H12O6 that is glucose plus 6O2. The carbohydrates are used for providing energy. The unutilized carbohydrates are stored in the form of starch. Process of Photosynthesis The process of photosynthesis takes place only in green plants, mostly in the leaves and to a lesser extent in green stems and floral parts. The process starts with entry of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide enters into the leaves through tiny pores present on the surface of the leaf called somata. At the same time, water is taken up from the soil. Chlorophyll present in the chloroplasts absorbs the radiant energy from the sunlight. It creates such conditions that now this light energy splits up the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen, releasing energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate or ATP. The energy produced is used to reduce carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. The above steps may or may not take place one after another immediately. For example, Desert plants take up carbon dioxide at night and prepare an intermediate product which is acted upon during the day by the energy absorbed by chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, an essential raw material. The plant requires chlorophyll, sunlight, carbon dioxide and water as raw materials for the process of photosynthesis. We shall perform an experiment to demonstrate the necessity of chlorophyll. Take a potted croton plant. Keep the plant in a dark room for three days so that all the starch gets used up. Now, keep the plant in sunlight for about six hours. Pluck a leaf of the plant and mark the green areas on it. Dip the leaf in boiling water for a few minutes. Now, immerse the leaf in a beaker containing alcohol. Carefully place the above beaker in a water bath and heat the alcohol till it begins to boil. What happens to the color of the leaf? The green parts of the leaf become decolorized. What is the color of the solution? The solution becomes greenish. Now immerse the leaf in a dilute solution of iodine for a few minutes. Take out the leaf and rinse off the iodine solution. Observe the color of the leaf, especially the marked regions. What do you conclude? We can conclude that photosynthesis takes place 
only in the presence of chlorophyll. There is an absence of starch in the parts of the leaf which are devoid of chlorophyll. The raw materials taken in through the stomata of the leaves synthesize carbohydrates and meet their energy requirements. Along with this, they also need bodybuilding and regulating nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, magnesium, etc., which are taken up from the soil. Nitrogen is essential for synthesis of proteins. It is taken up in the inorganic form or in the form of an organic compound. 